Hello YouTube, this is Dragonheart and welcome to part 2 of my Parthia campaign for Total War Room 2. Here we are on the campaign map and as you can see we have an army here which is in uh, ambush mode in case we get attacked from the south. I don't, we're not at war at the moment with the south but um, they're just in case we have this army waiting along the bridge around here in case Bactria come across. We have quite a lot of money at the moment as well. I could probably uh, hire mercenaries. There we are. Some mercenaries. Current treasury. We've got quite a lot of uh, in the treasury. We need to get those mercenaries just in case. And we have our full stack army we in the south. You, my lord. We can't currently build anything else in Nisa until we upgrade some of our uh, our technology. So I think we'll end turn. And we'll see what happens in this end turn phase. Hopefully we can get a battle in this episode. Didn't quite get a battle in the first episode, unfortunately. It was mainly campaign based the first episode, but it would be nice if we could have a battle in the east. Getting used to Parthia, I've only played them a few times, so I'm not that familiar with the units, but this campaign should give me a good idea of what they like as a faction. I tend to pick factions that are based in the in the west, so nearby where I live, so like um the Iceni or uh, Great Britain in, in like Empire or um, the only Eastern faction I've ever played at, in Total War has probably been the Maratha Confederacy in my Empire Total War campaign, which is on YouTube. But um, on a YouTube level and on a private level in my own time, I've only really played as Western factions. I, I don't know what it is, I just tend to go with what I'm familiar with. But here we are now, we're going for the end turn, not taking too long. And there we are. So, Ally confirms war targets, so thank you very much. They're going to go for. Oops, where are we? Let's get my spy up here. Just have a look around to see what's what. Scout around for me. So, our, our ally has confirmed war targets. Let's attack Bactria. We can't get in there for some reason. Oh, we can. Oh, and they're wide open for attack. I think we will uh, attack them straight away, or should I encircle them and wait for my uh, allies to turn up? I think I'm going to assault them straight away without my allies reinforcing. I think we can take these guys. Battle of Buhara, 264 BC. We have mainly uh, horses, horse archers in our... Uh, army composition. We do have some spearmen as well, so we should be okay. They've only got three units anyway, so this will be a pretty straightforward battle. It'll also be our first battle in this campaign, and it should be our first province as well, but you never know. This is hard mode after all, and the AI may have one or two surprises, although I do doubt it. Judging by the performance of the AI so far in this game, I have noticed they are a bit a bit lacklustre to say the least, but who knows. So where's the best place for us to deploy? There's the central plaza. I think we can go straight through here actually. That's why I'm going to deploy this side instead. So we've got our spearmen. We've got our horse archers all grouped up as well. And we'll put them just on the flank by here to begin with. And then we've got our general behind. Another unit of cavalry. So there we are. We'll move the horse archers up to begin with. Oh, there. It's not tidy, but it doesn't matter at the moment. My spearmen can go this side. Let's bring the general up as well. And the cavalry. Let's have a little look at the cavalry as they charge in. You can see the graphic settings I got on at the moment is a mixture of, of uh, medium and high. The reason I've done this is because it's quite laggy when I try Ultra. Um, on Shogun I can play Ultra no problem, but it's been very laggy for me. My spearman get into position. Let's bring the general behind. I'm going to bring the cavalry through as well. 
as we get some shots away. And look at this, we're routing the one unit of slingers already. Using fire. I love these type of units. Horse archers. One of my favourite units in Total War games. Can fire from range, they can charge in melee, and they also got the pace to get away from an enemy. They have all three things going for them at the moment. Um, the main three components for a, a unit, I reckon, anyway. Range, melee, and pace. The three things you want the most. If you can use that to your advantage, then you're doing something right. Get all these to attack these guys. And this should be a pretty quick battle. My cavalry is already in range. They can go straight for the capture point now. But I think this battle will be over before they get to the capture point. My, my troops are just coming out here now. Let's bring my general back. Let's bring my spearmen up as well. Use precision shot again. And we will... Oh, we don't have any rally type of thing, which is a shame. We'll use a whistling shot, wherever that is. There we go. They're getting taken badly at the moment. Look at this. Look how many arrows are flying into them. Completely decimating the unit. They're down to 57. And they are struggling now. Our enemy have lost a victory point. They're gone. They're shattered. Completely decimate now. I don't think we've lost any yet. Men, have we? I don't think we've lost many. End battle. I don't think we lost anybody in that battle. Oh, we lost two. That is fantastic. We lost two units altogether. I don't know who we lost, though. Um, look at this. 41, 30, 74. Two mercenaries between them. Jesus. 74 and 41. Best thing I did was hire mercenaries for this unit. Uh, for this army composition so fantastic dominating win for us we've taken the settlement we completely obliterated our enemy and it was done in less than three minutes complete domination so they're gone from this province now we need to hold this province i want to recruit as soon as we can raise loot or occupy we will occupy he's increased his in rank so we will check that out uh warrior we we'll go with warrior, that'll do for us. So we got our first settlement. I want to hire some units straight away. We haven't got any slingers, so I would like to have a couple of units of slingers and one unit of spearmen just to bolster our forces here because we know that they're going to come from there to help us out. But I wonder if I can go on diplomacy now. Uh, set war coordination. We've got a province there as well. I'll lock that on. I want them to go for there now, straight away. Help us out. Uh, Bukhara. Check our details. Current public order, nothing is going to go down to that. If we untax them, that does help slightly. The extra units should help as well. We could raise another... No, we can't actually. Um, oh, we're going to have to see how it goes. What have we got here? We don't have much here at the moment. We'll end turn and we'll see what happens. See if they attack us this turn. I imagine there will be some sort of retaliation from the Bactrians. I would like to try and take over Bactria as quickly as possible. Their lands will become our lands. And as anticipated, here they come. We do actually have an advantage according to the AI. They do have two kind of half stack armies, but we'd have one and a half stacks. And I'm going to actually fight this battle on the battle map. So have a look 750, 600. We've got more ranged units than them. If we can use them to our advantage, I think we should win this. This should cripple Bactria, uh, Bactria for the time being. And if our allies can actually take the other province, then we've got a bit of a buffer as well. And I can focus on the northern wars, not just the war in the south with Bactria. So there are plans for this campaign at this early stage, with this second part on YouTube. 
hopefully we can do well now in this battle. Um, they're deploying north of us, so we will Borders, my lord. put our spearmen, group them up. Where are they? They're right there as well. I don't want to be too... Let's put them there for now, I'm not sure where their reinforcements will come from. These guys can all be grouped up. Can we actually get them? Uh, I'm not quite happy with that. Can we... I'm going to have to split them up, I think. One unit there. It's not perfect, but it'll have to do. Swift and, accurate. Our orders. and they can stay there. I think that's pretty much it. Our general Noble horse is archers. here. And we have these guys Inside here. Arm, we'll start the battle. We'll find out first of all. Horse where their reinforcements are actually coming from. Turn on precision shot. Enemy reinforcements Make sure we have flaming shot on. My lord. As you say, horse They're all on skirmish as well. Just pick them off as best we can. They have reinforcements coming from behind us. They're a while away from the battle, but I am a little bit weary. My cavalry can come across to hold them off at that point. The general can keep at this point. But I'm going to actually turn my general around to face. And my main units. We can put a couple of spearmen. In the streets. Here they come, as expected. But my men can keep chipping away at them. Form a square with these two units. Bring these two up. Bring another one here. I don't mind them coming around this side for the time being. I do have cavalry which can keep chipping away at them. Turn on precision shot again. And here we go. Bring my cavalry back. How's they, how their uh, charge going? Missile cavalry at your command. Turn on flaming shot and precision shot. Let their light horse come through. My general can come out. My spearmen are engaged. Let's bring the spearmen back round. These guys are done as well. So let's quickly move around now. Get the spearmen back into position. Here come the Bactrians. They're actually in our capture point now. Bring all my spearmen in though to contest this spot. Get them on frenzied charge as well. Turn on flaming shot and precision shot. It's neutral at the moment. We are routing some of them. Our general's under attack. Hopefully, we won't lose him in this battle. Just gotta hold these guys up for as long as we can. How are they doing? Fresh eager. Men flee the field of oh, this is not good. This is a shameful display. The spearmen are not doing well. The enemy general is That's good news. General's dead. Our general has And I was just dead as well. There we are. That's a shame. We bring our horse archers quickly back. And we're losing this battle badly now. I probably should have auto resolved this battle. We're gonna lose this province straight away. The men are wavering. 
gonna have to charge in now. We only have a few units remaining. Get my mercenaries back into this battle. Our cavalry can charge. Get my horse archers in there. It's gonna have to charge in now. It's come to that point where I need to charge. And my other units I need to get back here as quickly as possible as well. The only problem with having horses is you don't have much melee infantry. It does leave you weak in the front line. We keep, we're still holding it at the moment, but they have so many units now that it's looking near impossible to do. For some reason, these guys are not. Here they come. I think they're charging, are they? They are charging in now. A bit late, but they are charging in. Here they go, flying into it. Let's get these guys into melee as well. Get these guys charging in. Just throw everything at them now, it's all I got. Precision shot. Flaming shot. Get some more arrows into them. The men are wavering. It's all I have on. They still haven't taken the capture point mines. But my men are wavering. And that's pretty much the end of the battle. I can't win this now. Our men flee the field and there we are, we've lost all our units, this is a shameful the army is defeated, we took the place, we took the province, and we lost the province, all in the same episode. Only a close defeat, I thought we could have taken them, they did have more men than us. We lost, oh, heavy losses really, we lost our general as well. I was hoping that we could have held on there. Probably need a few more units of infantry in that uh, army composition. But there we are, that's the way it goes sometimes. So let's have a look what happens here now. 5 minutes 42 that battle was. So our army is dead. A noble death. A little video of our general's death. There he is. I won't bother watching all of this. So close defeat. They still had only killed 460 of them. Wasn't good enough. And they've retaken Bukhara. Unfortunately for us. The only good news is that we have got a full stack army in our home province to use. And they and our allies have actually taken the province now as well. So um it's gone back and forth, it's been passed around through three different factions, Bukhara has. But our allies have finally taken it back. If I can go north and perhaps take Kath, that might help us out. Maybe I'll rethink at my strategy and try and take a different province perhaps. Or maybe I'll go for the other Bactrian province now, now that if my allies can hold that province at least. If they can hold Bukhara then maybe that's what I'll do. So, Plague, it's not good at all. If I can perhaps take this, it doesn't look like that strong, only six units. If I can take Maracanda, then we will be looking pretty good. But I'm going to end the episode there. Hope you've all enjoyed this episode of the Parthia campaign for Total War Room 2. I've been Dragonheart. Until next time, goodbye.